Hey everybody, Omega Alden plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm continues with our Guitarja of Indonesia playthrough where we are dominating the world right now, or at least attempting to. We're making pretty good progress. We've got four capitals. Uh, and I don't know where... Where's the next capital that we're heading towards? It's somewhere. It's probably right here. Sumeria's capital is the next in line. I just don't know the exact whereabouts of it at the present moment. We will figure that one out. Don't you worry. We don't need all this science. We don't really need all this culture either, but... Uh, I don't know. It's never stopped me before. It's not going to stop me now. Send it back in for more culture and money. Yes. Okay, we wanted to see what our... What's our retirement bonus for you? We can't move you this turn. We need to figure out what his retirement offerings are. Because we have a new friend that's going to work uh, at a higher tier for us. And so we'll probably want to just retire the old one. Unless the new one's retirement is way better, which it's just to get a a battleship. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I wanted this game to be more about naval warfare, and it just it didn't end up being that. It's just how the, the map was laid out, you know? You got to work with what you're presented. And in this case, you know, continents and islands didn't lead to a lot of naval conflict, which is, it's acceptable. Whatever, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Not what we were hoping for, but you gotta, you gotta roll with the punches. You, you just work with what you're given, react, move on, it's fine. It's really not a big deal. We are still getting a little use of uh, of some navy out there. They're not doing anything crazy, but they're pushing the agenda. They're out there doing exactly what we need them to do. So, that's all I can ask. Really. Grand scheme of things. So we're converting everything via Inquisitor to Squirtle. Everything along the way. We're not looking to do that on our new conquests on the other continent. Because uh, last time I was doing this type of uh, mass removal of, of other religions... In my own territory. I was just claiming my own territory. I wasn't doing anything else. A religious victory still snuck up on us. Which is whatever. That's just not what we're going for. I want to get a... I want a domination victory. That's what I set out for at the beginning. That's what I want to end with. But... Sometimes it creeps up on you when you're out there too excited about your religion. With self-government is freedom. Here's our consolation prize, Orzagaz. This was supposed to be a, uh, a Ruhr Valley. But somebody stole our Ruhr Valley from us. But Orzagaz, I mean, it's a, look at it. It's a, that's a beautiful building right there. From Stettin in the Baltic. It's, it's just beautiful. When you pointed out that maybe I should pick up, like, resource management instead of something else... Which I, I tend to agree with. I just don't know what I would get rid of for it. I mean, we could drop Levy and Mass, I guess. We're making a ton of money. How much did that hurt us? Ah, I didn't see that. Didn't cost us very much. Now we're, now we're generating more resources from all our existing resources. So I gotta say. 
I think that was a good choice. Switching out. Palumbong. Dude. Entertainment? Nah. Let's, let's put a theater down. You know what? Everybody deserves to be entertained. This does not give entertainment as far as the conventions of the, the Civ terminology of entertainment. But the theater, you know, they're out there putting on shows. That seems entertaining to me. It's not going to give the people amenities, but... Whatever. Sometimes it's not for the people. Sometimes... Sometimes it's just because we need more culture out there. We don't, actually. We don't need more culture. We're doing just fine for culture. But I'm, I'm sitting here trying to justify why I decided to make a theater district. There's no re Honestly, there's no reason for it. That's the, uh, that's the truth of the matter. Converted to Squirtle. Alright, let's, let's send you guys out. Um, hold on, let's let's try to get, make sure that these things are getting properly passed on to Squirtle. Give me more, give me more farms. Look at how good our farms are. They're getting so big. Oh. Don't mind if I do get some more coal. Beauties. Clean coal. Uh, okay, where's our... That's our new boy. Gain 500 gold. Military units get bonus for plundering. Alright, you're getting retired. We're sending Franz out. From this point forward. And he's already getting us error score. Look at this. Look at what he's done. It's incredible. Okay, now we can see everything. Starting with the island. We love the islands. Especially, it's near Galapagos, man. There's so much room for activities for us here. Mm, we need this. Thank you for the vision there, my friend. My visionary friend. I am Ignignot. I am Ur. The town is called Ur. It's an Aqua Teen reference. The Moon and Knights. Dude, I, I obsessed over that show for a long time. I still, I find the show incredibly hilarious. I just haven't watched it in forever. I used to just watch, like, the first... So this was back in the day when, uh, you know, you couldn't just stream everything. I had the, you know, seasons... Seasons, uh... Probably, like, the first three seasons on, uh... On DVD, not Blu-ray, because this I gotta I gotta date myself here, you know. And I just, while doing anything else, I always just had it running in the background, so my mind was just littered with uh, with Aqua Teen quotes for a good many years, I would say. <laughs> they're st they're still there; they're just not pulled up as frequently anymore. I don't know what uh, important information has been ejected from my mind to retain those uh, those bits of knowledge, but I'm sure I'm sure plenty is gone that should that I would have rather have kept at this point. But that's uh, it's all part of life, man. Sometimes you gotta prioritize quotes in your in your quick look up in your brain sometimes being all the time that's just the correct way to go about life all right so we're 
we're gonna conquer her cities both next turn and she's gonna be gone sorry to say Wilhelmina but your your reign ends very soon it was good having you in the game but uh, you know everybody's time comes to an end eventually and, and your time is uh, is imminent I love watching my mom argue. oh guidance systems oh Lord um okay I'm gonna have you hit this you take this I'm not gonna use okay so we don't have the money to uh to really worry too much about not firing with a, a given artillery or whatever Wilhelmina I'll take care of the Netherlands for you, don't you worry. The Netherlands will live on under Indonesian guidance. You don't need to worry. So yeah, we can upgrade... Let's upgrade this one. And then we don't have enough to upgrade anymore, so everybody else should just, uh, should just fire. Capture. Once again, we could be, we could be destroying tiles to get some more money to maybe make some of these, uh, these things happen. But that's okay. We're doing just fine. We got some more vision. We found his capital. We found it. So you can fire. You're going to get shot at from where you're standing, but that's fine. Okay. Dude, this drone... This drone plus rocket artillery. Mm, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be beautiful. Get the supply convoy down. Get everybody. Get everybody moving along or healing. Whatever they need to do to get by is fine by me. You know what, I'm gonna put a water park right here. I don't know why. I just felt like doing it. We, we put up so many entertainment places mainly because we get the bonus for being uh, Indonesia, but I feel like you get a little something special when you go to the heartland of Indonesia. You get a nice water park. You know, we're, we're pulling out all the stops. Hey, let's start with the... Uh, Let's start with flood barriers. We're rolling out the red carpet when you roll into the capital of Indonesia. We're not fooling around. We know how to take care of things. Continue to trade. That's fine. Man, all these worker orders are just, uh, they're making the turns take a lot longer overall, but whatever. The land, the land is looking lovely. The galaxy is at peace. Oh, we can definitely drop a little, uh, a little Nazca line in there, just brighten the whole place up. We're giving you defense versus air attacks, which we've never seen ever. But I just wanted you to know that we're, we're looking out for you. In case they ever decide to come at you from the air, we're ready. 
<laughs> We're so ready for it. Hello, Nazca. We cannot convert you with uh, an Inquisitor. But we can go to Sterling. Get you guys coming down here. Take a peek. They're doing good work. They're clearing it up. They're taking care of business. No doubt in my mind. They are handling it. Oh, there's gunpowder over here that we haven't been using? Hmm. We definitely always needed that. Not true. Not true. We've been good on gunpowder for a long, long time. It'd be interesting to see if they could maybe shift, um... I'm thinking... I'm thinking if you could take, like, older resources and then convert them to something that still modern stuff might, uh, be... benefiting from, not necessarily requiring it or whatever, but... You know, you still want a lot of these materials in other things going on. He can fire from over here. He's a monster. <laughs> oh, he's so good. Here, you need to heal. And then we need to get you up here. Let me keep my my drone safe. Make sure that he's at least uh, has an occupying unit with him, so nobody sneaks in and and ruins things. Got to keep your support units safe, cause they win you the game. So you got to make sure you're taking care of them. You're looking out for him. And we're upgrading our support, boys. Or not our support, but our artillery. What can you destroy in here? You can pillage this for gold. We need so much gold at the... present moment to upgrade our artillery. But we're able to get, like, nearly one per turn upgraded on average. That's not too bad. It's, it's nothing crazy, but it's not too bad. We should probably have a harbor. I just hate all our harbor locations. I, like, it's one of those things where I'm just like, just, just put your harbor down here. Just, just put it down here. It's not a great spot, but what it will do is give us uh, the benefit of the doubt in the future to be able to drop some other lighthouses and whatnot to make the, the area, the sea tiles, that much better. So it matters. It does matter. Let me put your harbor down. Once you once you're up to up to it, let's go for that uh, industrial zone. Queue up some things. So as far as at this point in the game, city management, and I guess I mean it, it kind of started earlier than this, but city management for me oftentimes becomes like a not like I don't really put a whole lot of care into what my choices are in the city. I'm just like, hey, just make stuff and queue up some more things. And I'm starting to care less and less about what I place down with, uh, with my builders. I'm just, uh, you know, trying to get them to do something productive. Because you just eat a, you eat a lot of your, uh, your turns. Micromanaging these units. I beheld the 
Frankenstein? Yeah. Feed my Frankenstein. Hey, let's go. Let's go to Sterling first. Convert that one over. Got it. You guys are doing great work. Ooh, okay. We're back to our, our ships. We're gonna take this one this turn. Okay, let's take it with the helicopter. And then have the ship come over here and heal. Good job, my friend. You've done great work. You will be remembered and honored. So flood barriers, fix your walls. That, that's going to keep you going for quite some time. I have to assume. Nora the Explorer, it's time for you to get absolutely bombarded. And then we roll in. Like so. We make it look all too easy. Okay, you're getting upgraded. We can't afford to upgrade anymore until next turn. Click the ranged attack button, please. Thank you. Okay, can we just take... We probably could just take it this turn, but I think we're gonna... We're gonna look around, we're gonna pillage. He can't pillage this turn, but next turn he can pillage. And he's going to. And he's gonna love it. So somebody could be working on the Manhattan Project. Not that we have any sort of mechanism for deploying such a thing. But somebody could be doing that. Put entertainment down here. Granary, monument, sewer, fix your walls. Queue up a research lab. You're good. Dude, you gotta get your flood barrier. You'd be crazy not to, man. The flooding is gonna happen. It's gonna come swiftly and it's gonna destroy us all. Only the people who are prepared will survive. And you're going to count Indonesia amongst the prepared, I gotta say. We are definitely prepared. We're part of the problem, though. You know, we're running all these coal power plants everywhere. So we know the end time approaches. Because we're driving that end time forward every day. It's a, it's a cruel fate that we're leaving to the world. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's how these wars get won, man. It's how conquests happen. It needs to be done. Alright, I want you to go build a kompong. Kompong. That's what I want you to do. Oh, dude. There's a sea resource over here to be claimed. You'd be mad not to go for it. Ah, another farm. Sure. Nine food tile. That's a pretty significant amount of food, if you ask me. Okay, we're putting out more. We're putting out more Nazca over here. That's what we're coming out there to do. This intelligence brought. That's his goal in life. So you guys have all been converted to the the one true Squirtle.
king of the starter Pokemon. The reigning chump. They've been good putting in good representation for Squirtle in our territory. I'm feeling a lot better about it. Thank you for bringing it up that maybe we should uh, we should get Squirtle out there because I feel like it has brightened my day a little bit. Knowing that Squirtle is out there guiding our people across the land. Helping us win emergencies. Oh, that theater actually got us Aeroscore. It was our first uh, plus three theater, so there you have it. It wasn't just a waste of time, Dad. Okay. Banton? Banton, what are you up to? Let's just put some entertainment out here. You like the rest. I'll give you 300 gold to drop entertainment out on the waterfront. Oh, we wanted to we wanted to put a campus up here. And that's still what I desire in life. So I'm going to go through with it. It's unnecessary. This is known, but uh, you know what? What else? What, you know what else is un unnecessary? Research labs. Still making them. I'm still doing it. Cause why not, man? You give up on the research labs, and you give up on life. You gotta keep going. Queue up some of these. I don't know. The order doesn't even bother me anymore. Mary, well, what's your ability? Your ability is that you go to sleep. Because you're about artifacts and we don't have anything to offer you there, as far as I as far as I know. It's possible that we may have picked up some artifacts from a captured city. Seems highly unlikely if you ask me. Doesn't seem like it's in the cards. Alright, let's uh Let's go ahead and upgrade you to rocket artillery. Go ahead and... Nailed him! Oh, pillage for money. That's right, we got a pillage for money. Now we can upgrade you. We can't! Not enough gold. They need, like, 40 more gold. It was close, though. It was, it was worth a shot. Can we get, like, 40 more gold? Oh, there you go. Okay, now send them in. We've captured their capital. Now we're, we've are we broken the Golden Age threshold. We're on to another one. Set them up. We'll knock them down. Rocket artillery. Let's send you over here to fire on Uma. The conquest is going exactly according to schedule. I'm enjoying it. Uh, what do we want? Colonial, let's take colonial taxes. I don't know what got dropped out. What got dropped out? I gotta be honest, I don't I don't know what we lost. Nope, don't know. We're putting that in though. Oh or oh we didn't lose anything. We picked up Forbidden City. That's what it was. We picked up Forbidden City. Which meant that now we had a bonus wild card slot. That makes more sense than what I was thinking.
You should... The pathing. Does it to me every time. It can't help itself but to do that. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I have no idea, but the... the the bug definitely seems to be the same type of thing where once once you have units all clustered in there, uh, like clumped together, that your pathing gets screwed up and saying that, hey, I can move through here, but then it tries to create like a weird jaunty path and then gives up. So it seems like a very consistent pathing bug we've been running into this time. For Axis, if you're out there listening to this, You've seen it in action multiple times. You should be able to recreate that beast for some internal testing and bug fixing. I believe in you. I think you have what it takes. And I do think I do think you fixed something in pathing by the way. I think we're running into less problems, but I'm still seeing those those odd odd ones mainly for stuff at sea, but now this other thing where they're when units are clustered together, it seems to to run into an issue. So I would love it if you would, uh, you know, manage to address that. I don't know if you're ever going to, based on how long the pathing issues have been in this game. But you seem to be chipping away at it, update after update, so. You know, we're playing the game ten years down the road, maybe every in individual version of it will be fixed. I'm not holding my breath. That would be a long time, but uh, I do see the gradual improvement, and that makes me happy. Sure. I'm surprised at the number of ways that the pathing can ha run into problems. But th there are a bunch of there's a bunch of different mechanics in the game at play. You know, coming up with a a perfect solution. is more challenging than I think you might think. You gotta take into account, you know, different costs for different units, different tiles, like, connecting to each other have different weights, like, it's easier to cross along a road than it is uh, to go through the jungle. Unless you're a certain unit type, in which case maybe it's easier to go through the jungle than on the road. It's a whole bunch of uh, shenanigans. I think shenanigans is the best way to describe it. Dude, your cities. What's happening to them? What has happened to all of your cities? They're being eliminated somehow. I'm, I'm even being so bold as to shoot you with machine guns. Even though I have rockets, I'm sending machine guns in to do rockets work. The world's gone crazy. <laughs> There's no reason for me to be doing this. But here we are. Here we are. Alright, let's take a look at the scoreboard. We are leading in science with 853 science per turn. Korea has 19. Swolgamesh has 29. Inkins have 185. And Dido has 119. So she's still got some presence out here, even though we've taken a city or two of hers. I think we may have only taken one city, honestly, from her. I think it was Nora up here. We're getting... Uh, 536 culture per turn, 161 from Incans, 94 from Phoenicians, 10 from Korea, and 6 from Gilgamesh. So Swolgamesh, he's down, he's down and out pretty much. Where's his other city? How does he still exist right now is my question. He must have like something... He must have something in here, or up here, I think. Never mind, he has this. He has Kish. 
I was blind to the fact that he still has this city right here that I was completely ignoring. <laughs> I don't know how I missed it. It is getting kind of late and I am a little tired, so forgive me for that. This city right here is his, uh, is his final resting place. And it will give us even more error score, which we do not currently need for anything, but that's fine. It's bound to happen along the way. Uh, so what else is going on? So we have Dido, we need to ca capture their capital. We need to capture the capital of uh, the Incans. You can always try to, try to do it in just like a sur surgical strike where we send in, you know, half of our military to one capital, half of our military to the other capital and try and take them on the same turn. That's not how we roll in Omega Alden's channel. At least not right now. If the game had been stretching on forever and ever, then perhaps, uh, you know, you, you'd tend to do something like that. But we're... We're rapidly approaching giant death robots, and I'd actually like them to get out there and get a piece of the pie. So that that's what I'm looking forward to, I think. You know what? We may leave... We may leave the Incans to the giant death robots, su supported by the rest of our military, but we might send in just robot robots to smash up the joint. I'm down. I don't know. I think that that's, uh, I think that's the thing to do. Our empire is looking expansive and, and wonderful right now. And it's, it, it just grows each and every day which is the way it needs to to continue to do so that was a terrible sentence uh <laughs> that's that's the way it needs to go it needs to keep growing however that happens i don't care the answer is it's gonna be by conquest but you know we might drop a city we're making a settler somewhere we're making it we're doing it anyway that's gonna be it for this one guys Actually, hold on. While I'm thinking about it, let me move Victor. Not to Uma. How about to Bad Tibera? Just to move him up a little closer to, you know, newly conquered territory to make sure loyalty stays cool. But that's going to be it for this one. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.